All right, guys, um, I'm gonna do a quick test here. Heading to the gym. Some guy told me to turn off the Bluetooth on the phone if you're gonna be recording. And, and here's the test. This is cold start. This is fresh cold start. And my neighbors are home, so. It's about to be a bumpy ride for them. did it guys all right now we know that's so great because this is actually will solve um solve a lot of other uh, youtuber problems um that you know film stuff because i always hear people they're recording their mustang footage trying to get that um what do you call it that uh the ford piston slap in the uh, you know the 18 gts so um that's it so 15 miles an hour not even 3,000 rpm let's see let's just gas it real quick right okay 2000. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. All right, man. Once that turbo kicked in, holy shit. I was actually, that was the first time ever I was actually thrown back in my seat. Holy mackerel. Now, there was a little bit of notice, no, noticeable turbo lag, but you know what? That don't matter. When it, when it kicked in for the first time, However, I was literally thrown back in my seat. All-wheel drive, baby. Just when I want to sell this, it starts surprising me. Oh well, it is what it is. As I hit this guy, bam! I'm just trying to back into this spot without really looking in the side view at all. All right, I did a good job. Actually, I parked better than this guy. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna hit the gym. Um, I did look at a couple of other cars. And um, there's a BMW that's actually a 335. You know how those are pretty quick? Uh, that's a, I believe that the year I'm looking at is a twin turbo V6. It's about 12 to $13,000. Um, it's a 2009, I believe. It was in like a minor accident, supposedly, in the rear end, but I looked at the rear end of the car, uh, not in person, but uh, in, in photos, and it looked fine. So, when I look at that, that's so much cheaper than this car, and I, like I said, I just barely drive, so it's like, I really just want a faster car. Not saying this is slow, it's not slow by any means. Um, is what it is, it's just, I just, I, I feel like this is too nice for me, it's too good, like, I love everything about it, honestly, if this was the car, like, I had to keep for a, a while, like, a couple of years, I'm totally satisfied with it, but it's going to waste, it's going to waste on me, and I don't want it to lose more value on me, and, you know, I, I wish... Um, I'd love to be able to get like a private sale um, because they could properly, you know, they know what they're looking for. They could, they, they properly want to take advantage of the stage two slash pro tune that I use instead of selling it just, you know, to a dealer who doesn't give a crap, who's just going to say, well, I'm going to give you, you know, 21,000 for it or whatever, and then turn around and sell for 25,000. Um, but you know, it's like you get into these situations where you're just stuck like if I sell this car to a private person, I'm 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 I literally I'm stuck at home. There's no way I, I can get anywhere where I can like reliably go look for cars. So I almost have to find a car and hope that it doesn't sell. That it's either that or they gave me such a good deal on this car. They'd have to give me such a good deal on this car and want to get rid of their car really bad, which is already sort of sketchy in a way. Like I'd be sort of almost worried about it. But you know. Pfft. 
it's just, it's a crapshoot, guys. Because it's like, to go from a perfectly working car to a 10-year-old, like a 10-year-older car with way less tech just because it's a Beamer or Audi or whatever, which for the time it was, you know, excellent or, you know, basically I'm just buying an engine. Really, that's what it comes down to. I'm buying a faster car because I just barely drive. So the miles per gallon doesn't matter too much to me. Now, I don't want like some Challenger. I don't want a big boat. I still want a nimble, quick, possibly all-wheel drive car. I still love all-wheel drive. Um, but I'll take a rear-wheel drive Beamer. I mean, you know, I'm not opposed to that. But had I had... <clears throat> Over there, when my car got up, had I been in rear-wheel drive, I probably just would have spun the tires. But this car just... You, you just go. It just You just take the hell off. And, um, and it's fun. And around corners, it's even better. And you get really used to it. So it would take me, you know, getting used to a little bit of rear-wheel drive only. Um, cause this car never hydroplanes, never, it doesn't, it just sticks to the road. Oh, I hate to even think about it. But it is what it is. So, my luck, bug, die. This bug was in my car literally all night. Alright guys, I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna be, um, I'm gonna take you on the journey if I go look for, look at some cars. And, um, if, you know, if anything... Uh, seems sketchy I usually just just dip tell the guy you know it's just it's too early to do whatever you know so peace out